Okay, so um, what we determined is that what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to hit a create similar. And I'm going to do this. All right, and I'll trim this off. All right, and what you're going to find is that I do not necessarily need um, two double doors into this room. Okay, a single a single door will do in this instance. And so I'm going to align this wall to here. And then I'm going to come down on this end of the room, on this part of the hallway. And to preserve my space in this room, I'm going to put, um, or to, I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to have a single entry door. But watch what happens when I just do a regular single entry door into this room, right? I don't need two double doors going in here. So let's just say I'm not going to use this door for real, but what if I did this? Is that acceptable? Think about this for a moment, people. Um, I am having a door open into a path of egress, but as it opens, you know, is it causing a problem? Now, here's the, the answer to this question is going to be, I might be able to get away with this, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to have this door open like this. I'm still going to come in here and I'm going to create similar and I'm going to create a situation where, um, and I'll say pick new host, right? And I'll trim this over. And now I'm in a much better situation, right? I know if I put a detail line here just to check myself, right? If I came out seven inches, right? Look at that. Boy, that's clean living, isn't it? <laughs> I couldn't do that again in another 10 years, right? But now I know that this door is not going to create any problems based on the little setback I have in here. Okay, if that makes sense. And um, what I'll probably do is um, I'll delete this real quick. Now that I know that works and I know back here I can put that double door. Watch this. I'm going to go back here and go to door and I'm going to go to that double door. And again, this is just kind of place holding right now. Um, well, this isn't going to work. Um, let me take this up a little more. And now if I come back here, I'll go ahead and save. It's always a good thing to do in Revit. I'm going to move this wall out some. Okay. So I've got that in there. I'm going to click this here and delete that and click this here and delete that. All because people, I want to come. I want to hover and I want to tab, click, and turn all these walls into what? I want to turn them into that storefront, don't I? All right? That's going to be really cool. All right? So here we have this glass storefront. All right? And so the storefront's in now. Now I can go in and do what? I can create. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to flip my arrows if I can find them. <laughs> here they are. All right, so I'm going to go in here and say go to view and SD. All right, so now if I go and I go to WT and tile my windows and I come here and I go to this little area right here and I click that, there I am right down in this corner, right? So I need to do some stuff, right? So if I come down here, I can click that, unpin that mullion. There you go. And then I can come in here and I can go tab, 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 click, and unpin that. And now I can do my what? My single, right? All right. So now I've got my, um, my, uh, my door placed in here. But what I'm seeing is, is that's, you know, that's, that's kind of odd, isn't it? Um, how big is that door? Let's see how big is that opening. And this is going to be odd for a few different reasons, people. 
you know, that's a four foot, two and a half inch. That's a little big. I want to get that space down. So let me undo that a bit, right? And what is this going to require I do when I click on this wall, right? First of all, look at the problem I have, people. I'm just catching on to this. Look at my, I'm going from the ground to the roof. I don't want to do that, right? I don't want that on each level like that. So what I'm going to do is come out here. Let me close this section for a minute. And I'm going to hover, tab, click, and I'm going to say, just take that up uh, to the first floor. Remember that? And I think the offset, if I remember right, is minus 2 foot 3.5, if I'm, if I'm thinking right. Let me check this one over here. Yeah, 2 foot 3.5. Okay, so now when I go back here. All right now that's what I'm wanting here okay so there's my conference space and I've got this offset in here because it's going under the um, oh, what do we call it the uh, under the uh, the trusses right under our our our, uh, our, our steel trusses so now I, I want to get this door uh, to a size that is sensible so um, I only want it to be a, a three foot door. That's all it really needs to be. And if I measure this uh, space in here, like we said, it was four feet. So I don't need four feet. So what do I have to do in this situation? Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hover and I'm going to tab. And I'm going to unpin um, that mullion and delete it. And, oh, I think I may have got the wrong one. I'm going to have to tile my windows. This is where it can get tricky sometimes, people. Okay, so um, there's a glass panel right there, right? And then there is a mullion. So there's the mullion um, that I, I, I don't necessarily want to delete that mullion. What I probably want to do is come in and make this panel smaller so I'll probably bring that um, over a little bit so how can we you know accommodate that um, um, that space so that we get the three foot door we're looking for so um, what I would do in this particular situation there's a mullion there right there's a corner mullion what I probably do is I probably take this right and I probably come in here and say, um, let's let's put a dimension on that and see if we can get that. Let's work it that way. Let's come from the face of that wall to uh, the center of here, right? That's four foot five. Um, let's click on it and see if we can. Let's make this a nice even five foot, right? So now that's five foot there so now i have a little more space to play in here and place my door where i want to place it so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to get a grid and let's see if i can grab a um, to architecture i'll go to uh, curtain grid and i'll come in here and i'll come in here and uh, let's see Uh, delete that or hold on a sec let me go back for a second all right and now if I measure in between that space right there that's approximately where I'm wanting to go size wise um, I'll probably come in here and let me go back for a second and, and try that one more time and get the I probably want to come in here and, and go over maybe maybe one foot two will work well right and um, I also want to come in here and take out that I don't need that and I can also let me see if it's going to let me remove add remove segments 
There we go, right? And now I can come in and hover and tab, 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 click, and unpin that. And now I can, once I unpin it, I can go and put my door in now, my single curtain wall glass door, right? Okay, so, <clears throat> and then once I get that door in there based on its size, right? Which, if I look at that door size, I'm approximately three foot six, and that's okay because you'll see those doors about those sizes in 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 applications like this. Um, I can come back in and I can put my door, uh, my uh, double door on the other side. So how would I do that? I click here. I'll flip this, and then I will go to view, right? And so. Um, Let's see if I can get this right. Where was I? Um, let me close this section. Try this one more time. Click and say, go to view. So once I go to view here, um, oh, I'm seeing my door from my, um, this is, let me explain this real quick, people. This is the, um, the door that is um, on my stairwell. If you look at it, you see how that's selected. And that's because I'm cutting through it there. So let me move this a little further. Just little things like that can catch you off guard sometimes. There, that should be a little better. That's good. Um, we'll tile those windows. And... Uh, Let's come in, let's delete these two mullions at the bottom and I'll go to shaded mode, it'll be a little easier to see, all right? And then I can also take this one out, all right? And I can also take this out and then um, I can also delete that curtain grid right there. Remove segments, there we go. All right, and I can even remove that segment too if I want. Or they're saying I need one segment, but I'm going to come in here. I'm going to hit tab, tab, tab. Oops. Tab, 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 tab. There we go. Now, when I unpin this, now I can come in and put my double door. Let's try that one more time. There we go. So there's my double door, and I want this to go the other way. All right. So now that's flipped. Now that's a little tight, you know. Um, I probably, in this instance, maybe I can see if I can move my wall up some. But when I move my wall, look what happens to my door. My door gets bigger, right? So we're going to go ahead and let's see flip this back to here and let's measure our door because this isn't just a door you insert this is a door based on the space that you allot so you're not always just going to be able to see that's seven feet that's way way big in this instance so I'm going to want to fix that so I'm going to go back a couple of steps and I am going to now I'm going to put a curtain grid in there Okay, so there's a curtain grid, and now if I look at this space, that's approximately where I want to be. You know, I, I might say, let's move this over, you know, just a hair, you know, but I, I don't even really need to do that. Um, I can just go back another step, and I can come back with my curtain grid one more time, and I can say... Give me a, a foot right there. And now I can go into this space and tab and come in and say, give me a double door there. And then I can go in here and flip it back. And that's probably going to be closer to the size that I'm, I'm looking for. If I actually, if I look at it, yeah, still a little big. Um, 
So what we'll do, I'll go ahead and I'll come up with the, the size that we're going to need for this in the next video. Um, and what I'll figure out is exactly how I want to space that because here's a little trouble spot for us. And it's good we run into these sometimes because here we've got this curtain panel right here and the door is opening right to that. And so that's not necessary, I, necessarily ideal. So what I might do is make this space in here just a little smaller, but I'll do that in the next video.